Here we go. So you should be able to see the list, sir. And uh, if you have any questions, jump out in the chat, guys. So, you guys are finishing set up? Uh, yeah, I'm just dropping. So the minefield mapper. Minefield mapper is triggering now for Jason. It's out of range three. So minefield mapper allows me to customize outside of range three. Setting off nice. <laughs> there's no such thing as token. There's no such thing as a nice start when you're flying scum. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now we can dial it up. Yes. You guys are ready? You guys are both ready? Okay. Shake hands. May the best player win. All right, so timer has started. The game is on. Jason has placed his uh, bombs out there, waiting for uh, Xena to fly into them. So there we go. First movement's done by Jason. He's moving forward, getting some focuses. Looks like Xena oh, doing a hard turn three with Ventress. I wish I could say I'm surprised. Oh, it's a hard turn two. Oh, I couldn't see the number there. So you are surprised. I actually am very surprised. I thought that was going to be a hard turn three. Yeah. <laughs> very surprising. Okay. Interesting. Be intrigued to see what sort of strategy she has in mind. Wow. Very tight flying on Xena's part there. Very nice. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. So this is round one of uh, potentially, was it four four rounds? And then elimination? Four rounds of elimination? There's, so there's a preliminary, mm -hmm. quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. Okay, so we have, this is the prelim round, and then we're gonna start getting into the elimination rounds after that, okay. I, 
I got a Nimranda I need to challenge you with, so. Alright. Okay. Guys are set. Uh, I got a. Uh, there we go. Into turn two. Looks like Jason is headed his way. Sounds like Mikey's going to come join us here at uh, Table 1. Talk shit about these fly, uh, flyers here. Or praise them because scum is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey, friends on the internet. Any trollers with us today? Nah, nobody watching yet. No, nobody watching. Nobody watching yet. Okay. Oh, no, I lied. There's three whole other people. Ooh. Hello. Three people. Three other people on the internet who are watching this right now. I'm very. I'm, I love this seeing this double hawk build. I mean, double havoc. Double build. havoc, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Catholic pirate, or Catholic pirates. Yeah. Double mm -hmm. Yeah. Single <laughs> havoc, double spurs. <laughs> but it's really nice to see that I was able to fit the two, mm -hmm. two in with Emin. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty slim list, but uh, that means it's focused. It's not going to get distracted. It I, does one thing and it does it well. Well, and it can just, like, take all the hits it can, right? Because, like, what, 10 and 10 and then 10, so yep. 30 hit points? That's crazy. So there was a forward four from Xena, and then she rotated her arc on uh, uh, Ventress to the right. So she's definitely going to have a range two shot on Eamon here, it looks like. I think Eamon's going to have a good chance after this, though, if he has any. Yeah, Eamon, have, Eamon just has oh, to yeah. survive the joust and then make you chase him. Yeah. So this will be interesting. Oh, he has Bomblet on Eamon. Bomblet okay. on Eamon, no, which I think is awesome. I yeah. think that's a perfect... I, I like pair. it, but like Eamon's ability really works well with an action, with an action it does. bomb. It does. Because that way you can move and then you have that three. Because like right now, if you had an action bomb... Next round, you could do like a three bank. You and should talk to three Scott turn. about the efficiency of the bomblet generator on Eamon. It was he <laughs> wrecked me with it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely wrecked me with it. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not saying that like that's bad. I'm just saying it's really good with mm. action bombs. Mm -hmm. His ability. Because that's what I'm flying is a generate is the bomber generator on Eamon today. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll be flying. You do the same. Everybody's got the bomblet generator. Mm. Well, it's the new. It's the new thing. It's People the new shiny. Fly, try it out. It is the new shiny. Right. But I feel like it needs to fly with CAD. Yeah. I, I, if, if you're not yeah. putting it with CAD, I'm like, why? 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 Why are you doing this? Yeah. Exactly. Um, my new my new favorite right now is the Zuvio CAD Bane bomblet generator combo, with the reverse bomb drop. Yeah. That's I love it. Yeah, that's what James here is running. Yeah. yeah that's gonna be great. I hope yeah, we get I hope very, we get a chance to see that today. Yeah, I'm very intrigued with James list here. It yeah. looks really good. That's gonna be a fun one to go up against. So many bombs in your list. I'm so excited to see that's it. Right. <laughs> oh, so here we are getting into the start of the combat. So she's assigned a stress token on to Eamon. So Dengar is going to shoot at Eamon here, so we're going to measure range on that. I'm pretty sure that might be a range, too. We're going to measure range on that. You can just borrow his thing. He has a whole bunch right there. Be good. No. No, you only get yeah. one opportunity to drop a bomb. Yeah, it says in the rules you can drop one. A ship can drop one bomb per round. So you can't okay. do a reveal bomb and then an action bomb. That would just or be two. Yeah. Or, or yeah, technically you could use. Yeah. I was like, hold on, if they're both revealed and I know it's going to land on somebody. Yeah. Could I drop both? So we three? Sure. No, sadly no. Yeah, my first time flying M and I got. I didn't know that. I thought yeah. they could drop more than one bomb per turn, so yeah. I did like. That's what I, I did. A I did a reveal and then I did an oh. action one after. So we had. This is shot. The guys like can't do that. I'm like no. And it does. It says that in like the okay. bomb. So bomb in looks the, like in the rules book. Okay. two hits from Dengar, okay. and this was a range three shot from the look of it. With the primary, so three defensive dice. Awesome. So good to see fire sprays on the map again, though. And oh, and one squiggle and a focus. Then the focus. So he's gonna get two, and Eamon gets out scot free. Good job, Eamon. So who, who who has an initiative on here? 
Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Um, which of you has initiative? Jason has initiative? Yes. Okay, okay so, so Jason has the initiative here. So uh, Nemon's pretty bare, eh? Yeah. Oh, does he even have CAD on here? No. Okay. no Agreed. Points. Bomblet generator is oh, kind no. of a no brainer on any ship that can take it. So, uh, three attack dice. I'm a little torn with it because, like, Fire with. I'm glad you could join us, Andrew. I'm sad that you couldn't be here, but. With the bomblet generator, uh, I just want to drop it, like, every turn. Mm -hmm. But I find with bombs that, like, you kind of want to, like, people forget about them, and then you drop them, and then that's when you get, like, the big payoffs. So what did we have there? How many hits? Two hits, one focus. Okay, so put those out, sir. They haven't been cancelled yet. You better not take them off the board. Ah, uh, okay. And Xena gets a blank and an evade. You can, she could pull that stress. Oh, good. You well, at least you'll get the preliminaries in. So, okay. I'm glad you could join us. Okay. So you evade both shots. All right. Ventress manages to get out of the way of that. Good job. Good job. So we continue on down the stack. I don't think that Jason's ones have a shot. Could you measure for me just to make sure? Oh, Ventress shoots now. That's right. Range two. And we get, ooh, two blanks and a hit. Okay. Two blanks, two hits, and then I get two evade dice, and I get two blanks. So oh, on one hit Eamon. on Eamon. Okay. Eamon loses his shield. Three for five on the others. Three for five on the others. There we go. Uh, oh, it tracks everything. Three. Yeah. Okay. I love this okay. app. It's fantastic. Uh, and then quick check from the skirts to see if they're in range three. Don't three or them have shots. Neither of them. So the that was a pretty good trade on Xena's half. She took yeah. nothing on that. And managed to get one point into Eamon. Would have been nice, I think, for her to get a couple more shots in Eamon. But uh, honestly, you take what you can get. <laughs> thing, so... Should be interesting. Jason's given himself a narrow lane to move through. It'll be interesting to see where he takes those two uh, scourges. So dial's just going down. Dials are down from the look of it. Xena's just second guessing herself for a moment. And I think we're ready to roll into the next round. So Jason's revealing some maneuvers here. It looks like, ooh, a straight three from one of his two pirates there. Looks like it's gonna cut, get in tight there behind Eamon. Interesting. All right, and there he is turning Eamon. Ooh, tight to that debris. Go. So 
I think I see what he's doing here. He's trying to hammer in on one side. And I think this was his ultimate goal, was to cause a Ventress bump. Which shuts down that crazy action economy she gets. It even worse. I'm just gonna stop messing with this thing. So it looks like we got. Was that a bump on his part as well? Oh my goodness! So double bump. And couldn't do it. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so when now we get into shots. Dengar, it looks like he's going to shoot first. So, oh, start a combat. Start a combat. Start. Start a combat? I have nothing to start. I know. And what do you have for your next combat? Oh, it's only in your secondary arc. Your secondary arc is facing to the right still. Is he range one to two? Okay, there you go. Jason's. So Gengar's shot looks like into Eamon. So nice. Solid hit. Not Dengar apparently. And Jason gets two evades, so takes one more damage. Wow, he is tanking well with Eamon. Far better than I ever do. Eamon usually has stripped shields for, uh, by, for me on this point. And then Eamon gets his shot. I'm just checking to see if I have arc. I don't think you have arc, sir. Nope, I think I have arc. So no shot from Eamon. So no shot from Eamon. So no shot on the card from Ventus. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost almost sad that he doesn't have a turret on that other scourge to get uh, out of arc shots, but uh, that one scourge is definitely going to get a nice range two into Ventress. So, yeah, it's a range two shot. Go for it. And wow. That could have gone better, so expertise is going to turn up for one. So Eamon has taken one more hit, right? Yes. Eamon is down to two, uh, two shields. Two shields. Okay. And then the Scourges get their shots. Uh, uh, neither Dengar or Ventress have taken any damage yet, have they? Well, at least you got that going for you. <laughs> so that's the shorty there. Well, which you don't actually have numbers differentiating them right now, do you? Uh, no, I don't. I can add those. That's probably a good idea. Who's tall? Who's short? Uh, we'll make uh, four short. 
Okay. Or here, that's the one that, so that that's, was this Havoc. is Shorty with the ha okay with the Havoc title. Okay. Yep. Uh, so four short has uh, three attack dice, at range two. Uh, Metris, and it's two hits. Uh, and spend the focus yep. To get a third. Solid two hits. Well done. One, two, three. And oof, there's one evade. And uh, that guy's got a stress. So, yep, she's going to pull the stress to get that other evade result. And evade all but one, it looks like. Yep. Oh, and Xena takes first damage. Sweeping dials. Ah, that's right. We were doing uh, one hour rounds in the first uh, in the prelims, so my timer is incorrect. So I will just stop it. that idea actually. What's up, buddy? Oh, just giving commentary on the game. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So Jason thinking really hard about his maneuvers here. You should smell the smoke in the room. It's it's quite quite pungent. <laughs> it's a tricky scenario. Okay. Okay. Dials are down. Uh, why are you doing him first? Oh, shit, yeah, that's right. Way to telegraph that maneuver, buddy. I know, it's fine. <laughs> I know, you're nervous, you're nervous, it's all right. <laughs> uh, Jason has to dash down. So it's, it, it's moot in the end, but... Action will be to drop a... Uh, this is four, yeah, so this is Shorty. Shorty drops a cluster mine there and here. All right, so Jason's dropping that cluster mine. He's hoping that Xena's going to fly through it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's something to keep in mind for next time. But yeah, uh, so we've got one. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Had a little hiccup. So, oh man, that's a lot of bombs. Hmm? Oh, shield off of Karthik 4. Oh, yeah. So, hey, Jason, you took the shield off the wrong guy. Should have been off tall. 
Tall boy. Shorty was four. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you. So that's... Stress for going over the debris. Mm -hmm. And roll the damage as well, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit that in the container. Mm -hmm. Zero. Okay. It's too bad about that rock. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> <She's okay. laughs> Zena is totally okay with the rock. She's She loves the rock. <laughs> There you go, in the knobs. In the knobs. Well, yeah, I don't blame her. She's scared of that bomb. Oh, she ran into it. She was heading even closer into it. Oh, oh my, okay. Ooh, wah. Uh, so now, oh, no, you still get an action. You still get an action. Don't forget your actions. It's important. Especially considering things. Ventress. So Ventress's action was to take a target lock on that poor Karthak pirate over there. Shorty's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> and Dengar is going, taking the slow boat out around that debris there. All right, uh, pop in the glitter sim. Don't forget Ventress's yeah. ability. Yeah. The each take one damage, right? no. no, they roll two die. Roll two dice. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know what that Everybody was. at range one rolls two dice. So the into the into the bin, please. So one crit, and you actually suffer a critical. Except it's just a shield on your case. And then I roll for shorty. Yeah. Take a hit. Aw, oh, poor Shorty. So Ventress took a shield and Shorty took a shield. Yep. That's the first damage on Shorty, though. It is. It is. Unfortunately, from the buddy's bomb, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, Pixie, happy weekend to you, too. Thanks for joining us. So, punishing him. Shooting Shorty. Okay. I'm surprised that Xena didn't use Ventress's ability at the start of combat. It's already too late. We're already moving into shots, so. So it looks like a range two on that Karthak pirate. Yeah, definitely range two. Target lock, roll two more Yo, be careful, buddy. Don't lose it. Because you didn't put it deep enough in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Completely legit. Yeah. <laughs> I get one defensive dice. And I get one of aid. One of aid. So that's two damage? Two damage. Into Shorty. Poor Shorty. So, uh, three tap base. Yep. Uh, gets 
one hit. No, that was against Dengar? Yes. So now, uh, Ventress is shot. And Dengar evaded all of it, didn't he? Yes, Dengar You guys are going to take this to final volley. What the hell, man? I don't think Ventress is in a good spot there. She's not in a terrible spot, but she's not going to be good in her next round. Yeah, I know. Next round is not going to be good to her. Probably. It seems that way anyway. Except it's an action ball. Oh, he doesn't get it because he's going over. Oh, so he's lost over. Ooh, this... That's not good for him, no. So that's uh, Shorty, two more hits. Two hits and a crit. Oh, and a crit. Ooh, Shorty, no. Shorty, no. Shorty is going to be taking his first internal damage. Shuffle up. Yeah, you should have shuffled that to begin with, buddy. That's okay. Crit is. Weapons table, failure. Ouch. Weapons failure. Bad news for Shorty. Yep. Okay. So, um, no shot from Shorty. Uh, no range. And weapons disabled because I'm sitting on an asteroid. What do you have? All right, so we're setting up for the next uh, uh, next turn here. Uh, Josh, how much time left? Josh, how much time left? All right, so we got 23 minutes left on this prelim round. Still no decisive winner going uh, being found right now. Um, if nobody's scored any points yet. Um, Ventress is still packing a shield, so she's still doing okay. Um, Shorty has taken some damage, but he's really probably unconcerned about it. Who's Shorty? Uh, Shorty's one of the Karthik pirates there. He's okay. uh, this dude here. The little one? Yeah. Is he the one with the last gear? He's the one with the more gear. Okay. I just kind of did. Yeah. So I don't know or anything. Uh, it's okay. That's fine. It's fine. That's totally fine. Sorry, guys. So uh, no, Salvaged Astromech is not a typo on that Scourge. The title, Havoc title, actually gives Salvaged Astromech. Or, no. Oh, yeah, for some reason it says Salvaged Astromech instead of what it should be. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a typo in the uh, list here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Okay, I got it here. Hold on a second. And what? What? Which astromech was it again? No, on. You don't have an astromech. I don't have an astromech. Yeah. Yeah. There, so there isn't an actual astromech. I'm not sure why it gave us that thing. Huh. Thanks for noticing that, though. Somehow. Now the question becomes, we're doing a two green. Do I lose shed my stress from that? Okay. Lose the stress. Uh, but so I he has the slot, but there is no astromech in there. So, yeah. 
Roll for damage from the asteroid. I do take a hit off of the tall boy. Tall boy loses a shield. Tall boy loses a shield. Ha! <laughs> 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 He's gonna drop. No action. Oh, action. I love no asteroid. No oh, for boy, over the asteroid. Yeah. Cat. Cat, cat. <laughs> I thought I was. Yeah, my shadow was stressed to be able to take action. Okay. Um. That's that's the only reason I didn't play more. Oh, yeah. Deal. <laughs> and drop. Because only. Time, yeah, the first time he shot. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna do the nubs. Oh, I see. He's trying to get the damage into Dengar here from the look of it. Oh, and there's Ventress. Yeah, it's yep. easier to template. Yep. It's not near the bombs out here. Hmm? It's not near the bombs <laughs> I agree with James. There are not nearly enough bombs out. Not nearly. Yeah. Uh oh. I think that's an overlap. You would have bumped him instead. <laughs> Rough. Rough. There you go. And then which direction was your arc facing last time? There you go. So good job on Jason's part, causing the bump, which is going to help set him up for next round maybe. And then Dengar is going to come around. Ooh, bad news for Dengar. Well. The only bad news is that it's a couple of damage. It's not terrible in that it's potentially only two damage. Oh, they show up great. So, in the activation phase, that bomb goes off. Go for two damage. Ooh, Dengar, two damage. Bad news for Dengar. It's the only reason I don't even need If you're planning on flying on table one, then yes, I'd love it. No, well, let's, uh, and actually, you can just send me the XWS file from that, and that's exactly what I need. Yeah, that's a primary weapon of range three. 
Uh, Shorty? Yeah, it's two sets of dice there. And I got Swiffles, so it takes three hits. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. Off of Shorty. Two hit more hits off Shorty. Oh no, Shorty. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. Oh! Actually, how many more hits? One, two, three. One attacking, roll one. Weapons failure. One hull left on Shorty. He ain't dead yet. Keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. He's doing a great job tanking those hits. Yep. How much time left? I think our shot, Emin shoots. Uh, we're shot, and we'll... So, Emin will fire on Dengar. Uh, Thank you, sir. So three attack dice. Yeah. There you go. Still on square bases. So. Mm -hmm. I'll spend the focus to get two hits. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Glad you could join us. <laughs> How much time? Wow, Jay, you were right. There's approximately 14 minutes left in uh, regulation play right now. Good, either good guess or you're really uh, keeping track. I think he's just guessing. <laughs> you think so? Dengar took two more shots. Dengar took two more. Uh, oh, yeah. So Dengar's out of shields. Two, so two defensive dice. Two and Eamon is really tanking, so that's one more damage on Eamon. He still got one shield, doesn't he? Yes. Jeez, way to go, Eamon. Not giving up any margin on that fire spray. Right. Oh, one attack, right? Yes. One attack, nice. Yeah, he's got a pair of weapons failures. Any damage slung there? No. Okay. Uh, Back to dials. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I know. God, that looks fantastic. Okay, there they go into the next round. I screwed that up. Okay. Oh, so it's not like. Yay. So it's not against the seed, it's against the mash. I totally screwed that up. So they are there. Yeah, man. 
action. And obviously, you're like greater to Oz by cleaning it. That's why you can watch it. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, just oh, Eamon's dropping a bomb. Oh, no, no. Sorry, not Eamon. We got more bombs on the field. It doesn't seem to be a lot of damage. It's so glad bombs are a thing. No, there isn't. Just more and more every every release. Right. Uh, but what about those cannons? Mine's limpy. What? Mine's limpy for sure. Mine's, yeah. Mine's are very limpy. Mango can has been getting useless yeah, and less. I know. Everybody. <laughs> Grab a target lock. I want to have a skill this game. And then, uh, reveal. Mm -mm. And I'm only going to drop one back. Good there, buddy. Looking good. Activation phase. End of activation phase. This bomb goes off. What? That's the start of combat, right? Yeah. Okay. End of you gotta go that goes phase. off. Dengar rolls some dice. Hey, Elnar. Glad you could join us. Dengar takes another hit. Yeah, sad panda on fire spray's lack of greens. So I agree. I got a fire spray. So, what was that that happened? Uh, Bomb went off, Dengar took one more. Yeah. <laughs> but Dengar gonked a shield, and then oh, she, took a shield. Oh, okay, gonked a shield and then took a shield, so it ended up zero. Net zero, okay. So many bombs. Ooh, turn up with expertise. Turn down for what? Two hits and a crit. Good job, Dengar. This is going into. Into shorty. Oh, he's going for shorty, eh? Yeah. Oh, shorty. What was the damage? Okay, so deal him. Yep. Hit. Crit. This card counts as two damage against your hull. Oh, and a, oh, so a hit and a direct hit on Shorty. And Shorty is gone. Hold off. He's off. Bam. We hardly knew ye, Shorty. Yep. Okay. Uh, so then... Then go shot. So now Eamon shoots. Range 2. 
Yes, yes, get those half points on Dengar. Oh, wow. I, I was kind of making a joke, but gee, that's kind of serious. <laughs> Dengar, two of eight, so a crit. Oh, direct hit on Dengar. Yeah, Dengar always shoots back. No? <laughs> you grab those dice, not those dice. Uh, grab your hands. The other dice. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Oh, Eamon's luck ended. Eamon has just taken it. So two hits and a crit on Eamon. Oh. So one shield. One hit, one crit, direct hit. Oh! Half points on Eamon. Four minutes remaining. Four minutes remaining. So three hull left on Eamon. Okay. Woohoo! And you've got half on Dengar. You know. You know it. <laughs> Although this guy, this Karthik is still really fresh. He's still got eight hit points. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And oh, three hits and a crit with expertise up. That is nice. Well done. There's not much he's doing about that. So three hits and a crit. Three hits and a crit into Tallboy here. And the crit goes in. And roll one attack dice on a hit result. Oh, is this a major explosion? So it might be another. All right, so there he is, four hull left on Tallboy. Now it's his attack. His attack, short range. Yep, four attack. dice into Ventress. And that could have been better, two hits. Sorry, I just had to reset the chat there, guys. Had a little hiccup. So we ended up here with, uh, was it three hit points left on Dengar? We've got three hit points left on Eamon and a dead Karthik. And Ventress still has that one hit on shield left, eh? Okay, so dials are down. I think we're good. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. James knows what's about to happen. <laughs> we, we were expecting this a couple turns ago, but that being on that rock slowed it down. Two of them go off immediately. Good enough. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Are you gonna be a little gamer when you grow up? Yeah. <laughs> So 
nothing for the first one. Oh, oh no, that's why you need no. CAD. That's why you need <laughs> yes. CAD. And two for the second one. So yes. Oh. Shields. Still not quite half on Ventress. This has been a pretty tight match in the end here, I think. Well, right now, there, like I said, there's no clear winner here. It's going to definitely go for, uh, go to points. And uh, unless he can get that, unless he can get one more damage into Ventress, I think you might take him. This guy was expensive. What's that? Oh, Shorty was expensive. And him being dead and half points on Eamon might make a win for Xena here. That is time. This will be last turn. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, yes, he did it. Yes, did it. Oh, Ventress action. Oh, Ventress action was the rotator arc. Yeah, last turn. So this last turn. We'll be tallying points after this. And we'll be crowning a winner of this match. Oh, Dengar getting a little too close to that bomb. It won't be enough to kill him, but it could be enough to cripple. <laughs> Two dice, and oh, two more. One hit point left on Dengar. Ooh, boy, do you go for the kill on Dengar, or do you go for the half points on Ventress? That is what, that is what the... You get the shoot first. Yeah. So this is from uh, Dengar? Yeah. Save the money. <laughs> Two hits on Emin. Emin rolls. Two defensive dice. Ripples. Oh, and Emin takes a couple more. Uh, but it's still in the game. Well, one hit play. Yep. Wow. Wow. Um, I've already done the internal hammers on both ships, so... The question is, do you go for that one hit point left on Dengar, or you try to get half on Ventress? <laughs> Am I at half on Ventress already? No, you do not, sir. Uh, okay. Ventress is one hit point away from half. One hit point away from half. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dengar's probably worth as much as half. Yeah, so uh, let's go for Dengar. It's, it's go, okay, he's going to go for the kill on Dengar. Okay. The kill on Dengar, uh, three attack dice. Range two. Does Dengar get a shoot back if he does? Ye no. Okay. Oh no, he does. He does. He does immediately. That's right. Maybe. Maybe not. And Dengar rolls and evade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Three hits. Oh my God. And Eamon might bite it. Yeah, he will. Yeah, and... Uh, two, more hits. two more hits, and Eamon is done, and that was last turn. So, Xena wins the match, does she not? Oh, Ventress gets to shoot, that's right. Yeah, okay, we can call it now. She's going to sweep it now. Well, let's figure out full points, after all. Okay. Uh, hmm? We don't need points, just... Just okay. lose, she's won. Well, just finish, finish him off. Finish him off. Finish him. Oh, two and a crit. Oh! And he rolls the one. Punishing. Punishing. Two and a 
And nothing. Two and a crit. So let's do, let's see it. This might, if there's a direct hit, that's a full tabling. Yes. One, two, and a crit. It is direct hit. hit. Oh! <laughs> and Jason loses everything. Ah. Oh. Nice try, buddy.